Now at six, visiting the Hyatt family's extreme Christmas display in Plantation was a holiday tradition for years. Now, we're learning for the past seven months, the Broward County property appraiser has been investigating the Hyatt family, saying they appear to be squatters. CBS News Miami's Ted Scouten reports from Plantation. For years, thousands flocked to the Hyatt family Christmas display in Plantation. The home not looking so festive now. Turns out, according to the Broward County Property Appraiser's Office, it doesn't look like the Hyatts ever owned it for the 15 years they were there. It looks like they squatted on the property, and as a result, they improperly claimed a homestead exemption. Marty Kerr is the Broward Property Appraiser. His office has dubbed this investigation the nightmare before Christmas. Kerr alleges the late Mark Hyatt actually made a fake deed after he tried to purchase the property but could not get a clean title because of previous problems at the property. Hyatt's ex-wife, Kathy, gave a sworn statement. She alleges that uh, what she did was uh, she, her husband uh, sat around the kitchen table, made a fake deed to the property. She alleges that they broke into the property, and when the police were called, uh, they showed their fake deed, and that's basically how they got it. Hyatt told me we didn't live here for free. She said they paid $900,000 to purchase the mortgage notes. She went on to say Mark never enforced the mortgage notes in order to clear title. Investigator Vivian Galanol. I have been requesting for that proof and also court records um, show that that they've been asked to produce proof and so far I have not found any proof. Hyatt says she provided proof including these checks and a bank transfer totaling just under $900,000. One check however is not legible. She said at best we squatted a year or two before we purchased the mortgage notes in 2007. Neighbors tell us someone is staying at the house. We saw a car in the driveway. No one answered the door. Now folks on this street want this to be resolved. I would love to have homeowners in there. It's a small community here on this street. No criminal charges are expected in this investigation. The statute of limitations has run out. It's a civil case. This situation is really now a homestead fraud case. So all of this comes down to a homestead fraud case. It does. At this point, $109,000 is owed in back taxes on the property. That includes a $35,000 homestead fraud lien. It likely won't be paid until the property eventually sells. In Plantation, Ted Scouten, CBS News, Miami.